Hello, my dear friends. Let me get some more light in here. All right. How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. <clears throat> Ileana del Carmen Martinez. All right. Oh, we are going to be making that. Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? We have the, the, the yarn ready to do the toe up uh, sock and the turn heel. Yes. Don't worry, it'll be okay. We do have some from the top down, but uh, from the toe up, it's hi to fairy. Anna's not here yet, but she will. How are you doing? Hi, citrus doggo. All right, where are you from? Interesting. Okay, so. Anyway, where's Anna? Where's Anna? Because I'm the one that wrote there. So Ileana, the tooth fairy, citrus, the tooth. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. And potato for life. <laughs> I'm making a bag out of plastic bags. Yes. Yes, I, I, we do have to. We have uh, videos on how to make, plant, what is it? Pion. The yarn. We have two videos on different ways of cutting the, the plastic bags, and it's really you work it like if it was raffia. <clears throat> ah, there she is. Plan, plan. There we go. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. There she is. Yes, it's very interesting, and I have made several things. I made a beach bag once and also I made a very cute bag with handles with the handles and it's it was really nice and I used transparent bags from uh, the meat department in, in, in a place where anyway it turned out very pretty because they were transparent and black and it was very nice. Now, something nice to do is also if you use a lot of bags, like different colors, and it comes out so nice because it shows that you saved your bags for, for a purpose. So, hello, my dear. How are you doing? My daughter is such an awesome lady. Anyway, we're going to be talking about something very funny. Uh, which is, uh, now what do I make? Now what do I do? Because see, what happens is that then you have this leftover yarn. And uh, one yarn mm. fell, just a second. I go get it because it fell. And then you have this. Leftover yarn, and then you have well, this one is the same as this. I have that leftover that I dyed, and then you have this leftover. So, what do I do? Because I have these projects that these are these are um knit crate yarns that I only used part of one. So what do I do with the rest? Because I don't want to just save them and, you know, and then they accumulate. So remember to not use dark colors at night. It is not good for your eyes. That being said, please, please attach your tags to your yarn. Just give it a few rounds around, let's see. And because what I did is that I opened the yarn, the, the tag, and I put it there, and then I made a few more turns. So, it, you know, like that, you know what it is. It is very, very important. Always, always keep the tags with your yarn because the contents of the yarn is very important. What if I want to make a, 
a, a washcloth or a dishcloth. So I do not want to make it out of wool because you don't do that because it gets wet. So use cotton. This is cotton and this is very, very nice. It's 100% organic Prima cotton. So even if it shrinks, which it won't, but even if it does, it's cotton and it's a washcloth. So this is very nice to have as a washcloth. It is cotton. And like that, you can take it on a trip, make as many washcloths of, as you wish with this, learn new stitches, or make the washcloth that we have online because that is a very, very easy washcloth to make. And we have a video on it on how you gather it. Put a soap in there, like a lavender would look nice with this, lavender soap. And so you put it in there and, and make a little bag and it looks very, very cute. So you can make Christmas presents out of your leftover yarn. And then what happens is that also when you go on a trip, please make your projects. What is it that I want to make? Take the yarn that you are thinking that you're going to be knitting when you go on your trip because you don't want to take too much yarn. So think about the projects that you want to make when you go away. Take the project, take the yarn that you're going to be using, and, 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 and that's it. One way of doing that is that you can measure the project that you made. For example, and this is, this is a preview. So this is the bag, the market bag that I made with this yarn. So look at look at how cute that turned out. And I made it with the uh, horseshoe lace. And we have pictures of this. So you, I, it doesn't take any time at all because you use very large needles, very small needles here, double pointed needles for this part here but then large needles there, and then you use a gadget to make the eye cord. And this is done with this. So now I know that it took less than one for the knitted project, because this is the leftover yarn. So that means that I can make a ball like this out of my skin and take it with me to make another one but maybe I don't want to carry so many double pointed needles. So maybe I want to crochet it instead. Like that I can take it on the plane with me. So right now we can't travel, we can't do a lot of things, but it's, you know, it's an idea. So maybe you go to a lake and maybe you visit your sister or maybe take a project like this because it's really fun and you don't need that much yarn. Okay, so now <clears throat> another thing, another thing. If you don't know how much yarn you used for this, you weigh it. You see, this is a, a kitchen scale. So you weigh it, see how much this weighs. And then you put your yarn in there and see if you can make that project with this amount or if you need, uh, so you know how much you, your project will be. So if you take a washcloth that you already made, measure the, the washcloth and then the yarn and you know that you have enough. So, if you have yarn that is um, that is like all wool, remember that you can make a cowl with this. 
and you can take your double pointed needles, knit your cowl, and then wear it during your trip. And okay, so it's just ideas, just ideas. So, uh, uh, you, ideas for knitting when you're on a trip, it would be like the washcloths, like uh, uh, placemats, uh, a baby's dress, you know, small things that you can take with you. Now, when you go to doctor's office, take your washcloths and then you can give them away as Christmas presents and stuff. Remember that if you crochet, it takes more yarn. So remember that. Now, when you travel, remember to take your needles. You don't have to take that many. But something else that I do, <laughs> and this is a lot of fun, I always take my tape measure, and I know how much I measure, and I measure myself. And like that, when I go shopping, if I see a dress that I like, instead of carrying so much stuff to the uh, fitting room, you take your tape measure, you measure the width of the dress or the skirt or the sweater or the blouse, and you know if you want to take it to your fitting room. So I always carry my tape measure to for shopping. You take it with me, it doesn't take much space and it's really, really handy because like that I don't have to, uh, oh, maybe I like something very much or I'm going to be losing weight so I will. No, 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 you take your tape measure <laughs> and, and do it a whole bunch of stuff. So at least at department stores, what, what? Okay, what? It happens to me when I try to enter the, uh, I tried to start what again with a few times. Now. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Mittens, hat, leg warmers, yes. And things that you can take on a trip when you go visit someone. Even with the coronavirus, you take care. You, you, you But you know, you, and those are Christmas gifts. They are birthday gifts. And use the mail. Please use the post office. Send the gifts to your friends. Um, uh, send the Christmas presents. If you can't get together with people, you have no idea how they enjoy receiving something from you. It is really, really, they, they just really enjoy it. So I remember the little girl's dress that we made. I sent it to my sister because she had a little granddaughter and two sons in Arizona. So I sent her the little dress because, you know, I don't have a little girl to give it to. And I really made it for her. So uh, I made it for my, for my great niece. And she's such a cute little thing. So... Babies are so precious. Anyway, uh, I know that it was big, and she can save it for when it fits. Always make larger than you think, because... Uh, and then in the winter, it'll fit her in the winter. So anyway, what else? Hi, Anna. Hi. Oh, and. <laughs> Little buddy. Hello, everybody. You are so cute. You are so... Where's Doug? Doug hasn't been around lately. He wakes up late. I know that he wakes up late. So, what else do you want to talk about? So, we already covered... Uh, and the content of your wool, of your yarn, it is very important. The content, 
And then, of course, always keep the tags on your yarn, even if it's a small amount, because like that, you know what you can make with it. And uh, do not use dark colors at night, really. When I was knitting this at night, it was, it was really a struggle. So use a lot of light during the daytime to knit something like this. But isn't this cute? It really turned out, and then I made an eye cord around it. See? And we have a video on how to make an eye cord on something. But, and then I attached the, the eye cords. See? And it looks very nicely finished. So I attached all these. And it looks okay on the inside. Let me show you. So this is the inside and this is the outside. So really, really nicely finished. And that was a lot of fun to make. It was really, really cute. And then, you know, you can go shopping and put your bags in there. And not to the supermarket. Please don't take it to the supermarket because those things are heavy. This is a, a, a market bag, but it's for show. When we were in Portugal, I bought one, and we uh, it was very inexpensive, and so like that I could have more or less an idea of the size. So, uh, and then of course, I'm, when you travel, take, take just what you need. Do not overtake it because, we plan to knit all this, and and we don't. We 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 really don't. We mostly look around. We enjoy our family. We talk, and we have dinner and stuff like that. So, anyway, I think that is about all that I wanted to talk to you about. So, my name is uh, Amal Amal. All right, knitting in. Okay, you're in Egypt. Thank you, thank you. Little bread. I hope I'm working with two stitches. Okay, all right. And you can always buy more yarn. Of course. It's just I'm going to be visiting my kids soon because I miss them. And uh, there's no yarn where we're going because we're renting a little place. And I know that there's no yarn. So uh, take it with you. And then if you go to a large city, don't take so much because you're going to be bringing some. <laughs> it always happens. Okay. Okay, what is it? Let's watch us. Okay. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for being with us. And uh, tell me what it is that you want to talk about. But, but you do that anyway. Mittens, hats, and leg warmers. Okay, Louise. Uh, okay. You are so sweet. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Tooth Fairy. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. I will. Thank you very much. And it makes me a little bit nervous to get on a plane. I have to take two planes going and two planes coming back. So I have to cover myself and take all my things with me because it Anyway, but I want to be with my kids. Thank you, thank you very much. What, when, when you travel, we do what? Yes, scarves. That is something that everybody likes. Your friends will love it. You will use them. You, and then, you know, when you take your yarn, it can be as long as whatever the yarn lasts. So that's a very good idea. Okay, bye-bye, dear.
friends. And you take care. And I will see you next time. Love you all.